SAP 2000 has many drawing tools to facilitate modeling, and this tutorial will demonstrate a number of them. Most models are constructed using either frame objects or area objects. We will start with the draw frame command. With this command, we can draw frames anywhere when in a planar view of the model. A right click will lift the pen, but will leave you in the draw mode. You have the option to snap to grids, but again, you may draw anywhere in a planar view. You can also draw in a 3D view but the starting and ending points must snap to another item, such as grids or endpoints and the like. If we try to simply start the frame in space, the point snaps to the origin. You must also snap to end the frame. There are a number of drawing controls available including horizontal, vertical, parallel to angle, and others. The letters in the parentheses indicate the hotkey letter to activate this option. If we hit the H key while drawing, the line will be horizontal no matter where the cursor is. Similar controls available if we hit the V key or A. Note that the angle is 45 degrees. And L, which draws a fixed length object. Clicking the Set Select Mode button exits the Draw Mode. The Quick Draw Frame command allows us to generate a frame on a grid with a single click or on a number of grids by using a selection box. Once frames are drawn, there are a number of ways to edit and modify them. One way is to right click on an endpoint, which brings up the point information form. Select the location tab and double click on one of the coordinates. This displays the joint coordinate form where you may edit the endpoint location. You may also move an endpoint by selecting it and going to the edit menu, edit points, Align Points command. If we select the Align Points to X ordinate option with zero, the endpoint will be shifted over to the Y axis. The Set Reshape Element Mode command also allows the geometry to be modified. With this command, simply select and hold down the mouse button on the frame object to move it parallel. or select the member and grab one of the endpoints to stretch and rotate the line. Next, we will trim off the segment of the line that extends past the intersection point. We do this by selecting the line to be trimmed, the endpoint on the side to be trimmed, and the line to be used as the trim line. Next we go to the Edit, Edit Lines, Trim Extend Frames command, and select Trim Frames. The Quick Draw Braces command 
allows for the generation of bracing with a single click in regions bounded by grid lines. To create secondary beams, select the Quick Draw Secondary Beams button and click in a region bounded by grid lines. The orientation may be in the Y direction, the X direction, or in a direction normal to the edge nearest your click. This last option makes quick work of adding miscellaneous framing. Next on the list of drawing tools are the area objects. The draw poly areas command allows us to draw completely arbitrary polygons where we can use snaps or no snaps to lay out the geometry. The Draw Poly Areas command has the same drawing controls for edge control as the frame objects did, including the horizontal and vertical options. Note that again these options may be selected using the hot keys. Hit the Enter key on the keyboard when your area object is complete. The Draw Rectangular Area command allows us to generate rectangular areas by clicking, dragging, and then clicking again to finish drawing. These area objects may be any size. And although these objects were drawn as rectangles, using the Set Reshape Element tool allows us to easily change their shape, or move them. The Quick Draw Areas command allows us to create area objects in regions bounded by grid lines with a single click or in multiple regions by windowing. Throughout this tutorial, we have had the Snap to Points and Grid Intersections option on. However, there are many other Snap to options available, including Snap to Ends and Midpoints. Snap to line intersections, snap to perpendicular projections, whereby a line can be drawn perpendicular to any existing line. and snap to lines or edges. This concludes this tutorial on drawing commands.